So moving on to the headland, deeper compaction, need to address it slightly, slightly differently, certainly to a greater depth. We left the machine set as we've done the, the, the central part of the field and are just looking at what it's done now through to depth. And you can see we haven't quite, we haven't moved all of the soil across the width by a long chalk. A lot of unmoved soil here. Whereas in, in the position where the tines have been, we've, we've done nearly an adequate depth, not quite. We could do with going that a little bit deeper because we, we've obviously got a deeper compaction here. So we basically, going to plan to do this operation in two passes because if we if we drop these tines deeper to the level we know the compactions at they're just going to cut an even steeper slot they're basically working nearly below their critical depth uh, they are loosening effectively just here but we're not getting that sideways movement so the plan will be to to cultivate it at a relatively shallow depth as we are here number one and then do a second pass at an angle across to take away this part and go progressively deeper so that we achieve the job in two passes. So second pass at an angle, drop the machine in, one hole on the machine. We've now achieved almost 30 centimetres deep as against 20 on the first pass. So extra 10 centimetres. And most significantly, we've now moved the, the soil profile to depth all the way across the width. Done a nice consistent job right the way across, across the field. Okay, so we've got the the V-frame machine here set to do in one pass full depth and you can probably just see in here the heave if you like the lifting effect between adjacent tines lifting all the way across uh, this is where the, the, the tractor wheel has gone it's lifted the whole profile so we, we, we're ensuring we're giving that that tensile failure that lifting effect to the soil and you can see it spreading out to the middle of this very very deep wheeling here as well so we're actually guaranteeing, if you like, that we've, we've moved the soil to the full width between adjacent tines, which is important, so we get maximum infiltration and the best structure. So looking at the surface effect that the tines have given, we talked about reducing surface disturbance where you probably want to, to minimise the effect of, of bringing up grass weeds. And you can see here the surface is more or less intact. OK, where the tines have been through, there's a bit of movement, but we've left the surface horizons on the surface and kept the buried ones underneath. We've just basically lifted the field. Okay, so just checking that we've moved all the ground to depth. You can see here... We've done just that where the tine has been and in between adjacent tines there at that point. And we, we've left quite strong structural blocks here which are capable of taking weight. They're capable of supporting axle load for the future passes. So rather than completely disrupt that profile, which does risk trafficking, pushing it back down and, and squeezing it badly, we've actually left little columns of harder soil here which there's plenty of capability for roots to get down between them and start to open them up but we've got some degree of support then for trafficking next time it's a it's a really classic example where metal can't actually completely solve the soil's problems by opening it up and giving it porosity it's nature that's going to do that but what we've done is given nature a chance to get in here now and start to open it up and do its work, but left us some supportive columns resembling subsoil column structure to enable us to traffic that land without risk of co compressing it down to worse than it was before.
just remember that the original ground level is probably at least 50 to 100 millimeters, five to 10 centimeters lower than the lifted profile that we've achieved with the machine. So you do, you do need to make a slight allowance for that. If you remember when we dug for a start, we, 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 we measured from original ground level to the depth of compaction. So here we need to add another, well, at least another six, seven centimeters onto that. Final point then, just check that you've reached the bottom of the compaction that we identified for a start and we've removed that. Always good just to check after the machine and make sure.